What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE Elite Action Figure news for you guys. And speaking of Elite Action Figure news, I actually just completed my complete ranking of WWE Elite Series 1 through 100. I said I would be taking every Elite main wave from Mattel and WWE Elite taking Elite Series 1 through Elite Series 100, putting them through a, a bit of an analytics and analyzing them from 1 to 100 and ranking them by set from worst to best. So I have completed my ranking. I just have to start editing the video, and that will probably take one to two weeks at least. It's going to be a very in-depth video, probably going to be an hour plus long. Should be really fun, but I have completed the ranking. The analytics are done, and now I just have to begin editing that video. So that will be really fun to do. However, today we have some WWE Elite Figure News for you guys and I'm excited for it. I think you guys are going to be intrigued. We're getting into Elite Series 104. Apparently this set has been leaked out on the forums. I do not know the main person behind this but there have been listings on some random websites and things of that nature and typically you know these things are subject to change but most of the time these things I'd say they have a really good track record of being accurate so let's go ahead and dive into Elite Series 104 and by the looks of the lineup it looks completely doable. I think that this is a wave that could easily be done. I think this wave is legitimate, and I'm excited to get into it, man. So let's shut the hell up, dive into it, and start off with Elite Series 104. And the first figure is going to be AJ Styles. Now, there's a lot of things about AJ Styles. Now, if you guys know, he hasn't been in an Elite wave in a really long time. You know, they used to pump him out every other series, but... I feel like the last couple Comic-Cons, we'll be like, damn, where's the AJ Styles Elites? Where's the AJ Styles Elites? You know, they pumped them into, like, some random Build-A-Figure waves, and those Elites have been trash, right? We had the black and red one. We had the Boneyard match one. But we haven't had a legitimate, like, wrestling gear AJ Styles in a minute. But finally, he is returning to Elite 104. Now, with his Ultimate Edition being on the, on the horizon here, about to come out, like, I'd say any day now. I would imagine this week or next week, this AJ Styles Ultimate Edition is going to be hitting our steps, and I cannot wait for that Ultimate, man. That is going to be one of my favorite figures of the year, I can tell from here. But his Elites are going to have to come with it, man. To be anywhere near the stratosphere of, of the AJ Styles Ultimate Edition, it's going to be different because you guys know they give him the small torso. It's very annoying. I've said it since day one-ish when they were talking about AJ Styles Elites and the first one we got in hand, and I always say that this guy needs a new formula. They always talk about Hulk Hogan and him getting a new formula, AJ Styles needs a new damn formula. If Trash Corbin can get seven different formulas for all his different figures, why can't we get a new AJ Styles formula? So we'll see about that. I would, I just, I guess the gear has to be good. I guess I could always do a torso swap with his ultimate, play around with some stuff, but they fixed his legs, man. They gave him new legs on his Ultimate Edition, so maybe they'll do the same for his Elite. Maybe, you know, they did it with Seth Rollins as well. Maybe we'll get a new AJ Styles Elite mold. That would be, that would make me super happy, but Elite 104 AJ Styles is the first figure in the set. Moving right along, our next figure is going to be Drew McIntyre. Yes, Drew McIntyre, no stranger to the Elite line. Man has so many different figures between the top talents and the main Elite lines. I mean, his first figure goes all the way back to the first 10 series of Elites, and of course, he took a hiatus, and he's been back, and he's had some fantastic figures, right? I mean, this guy has some incredible Elites, and I really don't know how they you're going to improve on it, because all he gets is different tights, so I imagine maybe he'll have a brand new head sculpt. He'll have a great formula. The skin type looks really good on his figures. His elites are actually very damn good. I just don't know what gear they're going to do. You know, it's, it's basically going to be his really good figure, maybe a brand new head sculpt and some new tights, and that'll be it. But his, his figures have a really good track record, so I'm actually looking forward to the figure. It's just not like the most exciting ever. I do love Drew McIntyre, but it's just going to be a change in tights, and it's not like he has these over-the-top gears. So I don't know. It'll be, it'll be a good figure, I think. It's just not going to be one that's going to just, you know, drastically change the universe. So Drew Drew McIntyre is the next figure in Elite Series 104. Getting into the next one, you guys, this is going to be a hot seller right here, man. We have Solo Sokoa coming to Elite 104. Everybody and their mom is going to line up for this figure. Everybody wants to complete their bloodline. Everybody wants to have this guy. Hopefully, he comes with Samoan spike hands. I am looking forward to the Solo figure so much. I, I just hope that he, I, I, I low-key hope he comes with like a yelling expression and then a pissed off straight expression. I guess I could live with just a straight pissed off expression, but I'd like to see him have, you know, a pissed off expression, so or like a yelling expression, so we'll see about that, but Solo Sokoa is going to be a chef's kiss figure in Elite 104. We have three guys that are like current day figures in this line so far, but Solo Sokoa is one that I have to have in my collection. I have to plug him into the collection. I think he's going to be a beautiful looking figure, so hopefully, you know, all the double jointed arms, all the bells and whistles, the tattoo work. He should be phenomenal. I can't wait for the Solo Sokoa figure. Next up in the line, 
we have Dakota Kai. Yes, an updated Dakota Kai. I think we could use this. You know, her last figure didn't come out years and years ago or something like that. Her her last figure was actually pretty damn good as well. I think he could use a better head sculpt. You know, the Royal Rumble Elite, I think it was. It was a solid figure, but I think this one will be better. I think it's going to be updated. I know, the last one had double jointed arms and legs, I'm pretty sure. However, I still think that it could be updated as far as head sculpt. Maybe throw in some cool accessories. I'm actually looking forward to the Dakota Kai figure. I think it'll be nice. And her formula is nice. It poses around well and all those different things. So hopefully they just give us a really good gear we get you know some good stuff going on with her and Dakota Kai will be you know just just showing up great in the collection put her with the damage control and we'll have a nice looking Dakota Kai figure and if we're getting a Dakota Kai in Elite 104 we're probably going to be getting EO not too far in the future we're probably going to get an updated Bailey you know probably in Elite 105 106 so maybe they'll spread them out maybe we'll get Bailey next wave and then EO after that or something like that but all those things remain to be seen the next figure in our set and is going to be the chase this next figure will be the chase in Elite Series 104, and it is going to be Braun Breaker. Yes, Braun Breaker. He does have a basic, and that is it. All we have is a basic Braun Breaker. Now we are getting an Elite of him, and he is going to be the chase. Hopefully, it's a great formula. You know, I imagine he will pose around well. All the, like, Mattel Elites, man, they have just been bringing it and bringing it. And they, they rarely miss, man. Nowadays, they are rarely missing figures. We get the double-jointed arms. They pose around well. They feel good in the hand. I think that even the solo figure, as big as he'll be, I think he's going to move around great. I think Braun Breaker will be a beautiful-looking elite. Hopefully, he comes with some great accessories. You know, we'll get all the different things in here. But Braun Breaker is going to be an elite figure, and he is also going to be the chase in Elite Series 104. And it doesn't look like there's going to be two chases in this set this time. So you guys know that two chases has been a thing. It is not a thing in Elite Series 104. So the last figure in Elite Series 104 is going to be Rick Steiner. Yes, Rick Steiner of the Steiner Brothers is going to be the last figure in Elite Series 104. Now, a lot, a lot of people are obviously going to be wondering, well, we need the other Steiner to complete our tag team, and that is obviously correct. So, for getting our Rick Steiner figure, Scott Steiner has to be not too far away. I know a lot of people are going to talk about two packs with the Steiner Brothers. I know a lot of people are going to want that, but this is uh, quite insane. I know it was it was said not too long ago, it was reported that the Steiner Brothers had signed a Legends deal with WWE, so I guess maybe they put this figure on the fast track and maybe Scott Steiner is coming right behind him. I'm not entirely sure about that. You know, I'm sure that WrestleMania Access is going to answer a lot of these questions. I think that we're going to get a lot of people, you know, a lot of figures on display, a lot of stuff that's going to be in the wings. I bet we get some upcoming Legends waves. I bet I could see them both getting plugged into the Legends line at Target, Target exclusive maybe, or maybe a ringside exclusive two pack. There are definitely things that are going to be in the works that we're going to see at WrestleMania Access coming up not too long from now. I think it's what, like five weeks or something like that. We'll We'll probably have all of this stuff confirmed to us or maybe over the next few weeks we'll have some like different pre-orders up i know that elite 102 is the most recent wave that's up for pre-order so they have not yet announced 103 or 104 but maybe that is something again over the next five weeks that we will get and you know the information and things like that but certainly a line that has some figures that people have been waiting on man solo braun breaker rick steiner three figures that i know a lot of people have been waiting on so i know that is going to be very exciting but the elite 104 complete wave is aj styles drew mcintyre solo sokoa dakota kai braun Bre Breaker as the Chase and Rick Steiner, man. Very exciting stuff. I cannot wait to see exactly what they look like, but I think that the, the figure news has kind of been a little bit quiet as of late, or not like figure news exactly, but just things releasing and finding at retail and things like that, or at least it seems like it in my, in my way. So I'm sure things are about to ramp up, you know, like Legends Ultimate Target Exclusive Bret Hart probably going to be hitting very soon. You know, figures like that, that should be hitting, but again, WrestleMania Access is going to be when we get a lot of this stuff coming out, and you know, we're going to get a lot more news and things like that and I hope I hope I'm gonna make it a mission to get out there so that I can do live coverage from Wrestlemania in person so we will see about that man but I'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below I'm getting the hell out of here leave me your thoughts on Elite 104 down in the comment section below also let me know what you think is the best main Elite series of all time from 1 through 100 thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and I'll see you next time